my 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 gemini it is i it is mira it is shira it is vera it is scorpion red Sarah. i am back at it again one time for the one time to see what's popping what's popping what's popping what's popping with you i love you i miss you gemini what's been going on with you listen shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to all my babies for like sharing and subscribing and clicking this video thank you so much hit that thumbs up button hit that thumbs up button okay if there's anybody that would like to reach out to me and book a personal private reading only thing you need to do is check the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page um click the link for the instagram send me a message on instagram if you don't have a instagram page uh, shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com to connect with me to book a reading you guys every single deck that we have on this table we have eight brand new decks thank you to everybody that has been booking personal private readings with me while i was on my break y'all y'all have allowed me to be able to you know invest into Get a lot of new love and flavor on the table, y'all. So we're going to get into this energy today. Allow us to give God his flowers and recognition and love and his praises. Bow your head with me. Let's just say a quick prayer before we go into this energy. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini, Father God. We just feel so blessed and happy. we just been smiling a lot. A lot more often, Father God, we're just happy that we're just here, willing and able, and we're just feeling stable, and we're just taking positive steps to just help and benefit us in the future, Father God. We just want to continue to stay on this pathway, let nothing and nobody disturb us, Father God. We're just steadily growing and just showing up in the best way in the name of Jesus. Father God, continue to just rain down these blessings on us in the name of Jesus. Father God, give us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of Gemini for July 2000. 21 we're here to have some fun thank you so much for all of the you know celebrative uh celebratory energy that's been going around us you know a lot of family friends a lot of good festivities father god we just want more 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 we really want to enjoy this summer father god so shout out to all my gemini's that just recently had birthdays you know we just want to continue to celebrate for the rest of this year in honesty so give us the guidance that we need to receive in jesus name amen all right <clears throat> my voice all cracking and stuff okay hold on <laughs> all right so let's see what we got here we got some crystal cards so let's see what crystal pops out for you guys give us guidance for july for my gemini okay i got mm, this popped out but i, I gotta read this one i gotta read this one because it's already showing me you got the amber that was the one that was on the top, wasn't it? Okay. You got the amber card. It says, warmth, regeneration, grounding, exuding warmth, and electrical charge. Amber was believed by the Chinese to encapsulate the soul of the tiger when it dies. With rich history, amber was used as a protective talisman dating back to the ancient times. Technically compromised of tree resin that has been fossilized. Amber is used for grounding higher energies back to earth. When rubbed, it becomes an electrical charge, dispelling negative energy and, and igniting desire. Amber is used as a purifier, cleansing the environment and chakras alike. Use amber to electrify your life. Leo, Aries, the sun. Okay, I like this. I, I, I have to put this like this though. I really do just for a second, cause like just even looking into this, it looks like I don't know why I see like a butterfly in there. I definitely, y'all, do y'all see that butterfly in there? Or am I tripping? Do y'all see that? It's like telling me like on some like halfway through transformation or something like that. Hmm. Warmth, regeneration, grounding. I like that. I like that, Gemini. Because that's basically telling me you're where you need to be. Things are. It's like, 
I don't even know what to say because it's like I feel like you're halfway there. It's like a, at a halfway point and it's like you feel good about it because you can see because it's, it's like even though it's like half of a wing, you were caterpillar at first and it's like you done the cocooning stage. It's like you're actually someone can look through the cocoon or something and see, you know, you developing or something like that. But it's like you're rooted, you're grounded, you're not out and about, you're not trying to jump out there and spread your wings before you're ready to fly. I feel like you're in a state right now where it's like you're being protected and it's and you're enjoying like the warmth because even like warmth to me, that's like I feel like hugs. That's why I'm kind of getting this like hugs, other energies, like it's like a positive charge, a positive energy. It's something it's like security. Give me guys with Gemini. Give me one card. You got the hangman. So again, it's like I don't want to say it's like you're in the suspense right now, but it's just, like I said, it's like a cocoon. You're being protected. You are being made to chill while you grow and understand something right now. That's what the hangman is about. It's like understanding why you're, why you went through whatever you went through and whatever phase it is in your life and why you are being separated from a lot of things. It's like, this is someone that's having a long time to like sit down and think. And look at things from a different angle and try to really focus on their life purpose. And it's like, once I get down from here, like, where do I really want to be? You know, do I want to get down and be mixed up in the same shit that got me where I'm at right now? You know, or do I want to go and elevate? You know, like, this here, this moment is to show you who you really are, the people around you, what you need to separate from, and what you need in your life to help you actually grow you know and one thing about growth you need fresh air you need water and you need the sun you need all of the elements you need love too you know especially when it's like plants and even animals and anything that's a, a living breathing beating thing you know what I'm saying it needs love it needs air it needs water it needs all of that it needs the sun I really get like someone's having to spend some a long time by themselves. I don't know if it's like you might have cut people out because you wanted to or if something happened. Um, I kind of feel like something may have happened um, because she doesn't look kind of happy. Oops, sorry. She doesn't look kind of happy about kind of being this like hangman period. Like she does not look like she's enjoying herself like that. It's like she... It's like, I feel like she would normally be out with friends, mingling and socializing and stuff. But sometimes it's like to show you who your friends really are, to show you what element, what was surrounding you. It's like someone really didn't see something because they were so close to it. And sometimes when you're being separated from things, you can see things differently. It's for you to see things differently. You got the clouds and then you got the rider. I don't know. I heard something about a special effect. Something about a special effect. But the writer is something that it's like, it's like a messenger or some sort or someone like coming to give you messages of like good fortune, good tidings. It's like to do good business or, um, I feel like this has to do with some business or of some sort. The clouds sometimes it can mean like some type of distraction. It's like some it's like some level of disturbance. It's never necessarily a good thing when you see the clouds, you know. I feel like the clouds represent some type of delay in regards to this message. This, this, it's like to me, the writer is like a sudden arrival. It's a sudden arrival of some sort. Hmm. Let's see. 
you got the nine of hearts here and then you got the king of clubs so to me what that's saying is like something that you've been wishing for something that you've been hoping for something that you you know i i think that you would dedicate your life to it seems like there's been some type of distraction or some type of unwillingness to it's like release something or get away from something or it's something that you need to see you need to see it for yourself in order for this here to arrive because with the nine of hearts that's like a wish granted. That's like your your desires, like everything that you've been wanting for. It's just and it's like it'll just show up on a whim, you know. But at the same time, it's like there has been some level of delay, like disturbances or, or something like that. Let me pull out this this book real quick to just see what it says real quick about the clouds. Sudden troubles, confusions, daydreaming, issues, challenges, distractions. Yeah, just like I said, like I'm not fucking crazy. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Something getting in the way. And I, that's why you are being set to the side because it's like God wants to give this to you or whoever this is would like to present something to you or there could be an offer but it's like it can't show up if, if you don't show up in a certain way and that's why this regeneration and this grounding it's like you have to do something on your own what is this the high priestess the high priestess is also someone being in a place of solitude to Gain wisdom, clarity, you know, it's something that you're holding inside of some type of secret. There's some type of information that you know that you know why you're you're going through this period of seclusion because it's like having to come to terms with like the shadow and the light side of you. It's like you have to understand that there's there's no good and no bad. I mean, you can't say that. But it's like even the shadow, you know, it has purpose for certain reasons because it teaches you to stand up for yourself. Certain levels of your, your shadow is like your ego, your pride. When it's in the negative, it, it, you know, you won't let people talk to you a certain way. You won't handle certain situations in a certain way because of your ego and pride. But at the same time, you have to have balance of the light where you know how to control and not take it too far do you understand what i'm saying and it's like this is only something that you can develop and you you have to do this alone nobody can tell you how to achieve this and how to conquer and come to this balance and understand how everything is in the world before you can understand that you have to understand thyself you know the high priestess is like <laughs> She knows everything. She is that pillar of knowledge. She can teach you everything about the universe. Everything. But at the same time, you have to know that you're worthy of learning these secrets. You know what I'm saying? And the best way to do that is conquering that self. Once you can conquer that self, then you can be open to a lot of more, a lot of information that is far beyond your knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it first has to do with self. And again, this has to do with recuperation like seclusion and again self-knowledge and growth and just not only just about self-knowledge but knowledge way beyond anything that you can even possibly fathom you know what I'm saying like a lot of things are starting to make sense now it's like you're getting some type of guidance from a higher power and it's also teaching you a level of morals because with the high priestess it's like you do have this power you have this skill like you can have like even in the shadow, if you know how to work your shadow, you can pull off a lot of things. Cause like the high priestess is a is, is is a magician. She's do you understand? She's the highest of high magician. But there's responsibility with that level of power. Do you get me? Okay, let me just keep it moving. Cause yeah, nine of swords. It's like something. It's like something here that someone was worrying about. I don't see. I don't even want to go into reading no stupid shit. 
But y'all need to let that go. You know what I'm saying? Period. Certain things will come together and make sense and it start opening up to you as soon as you get what God is trying to teach you right now. And that's all I can say. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You gotta you gotta know what you're doing with yourself because you got a great level of responsibility right here with this high priestess. You know your gifts, you know your power is is learning how to balance and maintain that. This is a beautiful card. I haven't seen this. Express your love through your deeds. And that's the thing. It's like you're a good person, but instead of saying it, you got to show people that shit. Because sometimes it's something here about this card. It's like I wanted to say it earlier, but I didn't want to say it. Because I want to say like this person got put in time out. Because it's like. Someone got put in time out, but it's not its not for a long time or something. It's just for you to see what you've been doing and the results of what you've been doing. Because the, <laughs> the hangman can be like, again, like you being put over to the side and, and watch this. You know, watch this play out because this is what you did. So it's like someone playing a recording of like someone going, <laughs> it's like... You did something wrong and someone would, and he's like, oh, so you saying you didn't do this? Okay, well, I got some video tape. You saying this wasn't you? And you're like, oh, shit, yeah, going over there. <laughs> it's like, you try to lie, but it's like, no, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you what you did, and I want you to sit over there and think about it because it's like the consequences could have been harsher. You know, it could have been harsher. So it's like... Mm -hmm. you have to like move forward like in order to you to get the things the, the things that you want coming to you the things that you want to just show up because I feel like here it's like someone just wants especially with this high priestess card it's like because you know that you have a certain ability and a certain gift to just pull certain shit off which is cool but shit just don't show up like that you, your actions have to be pure. Your actions have you gotta move better. You have to it, it you have to have a high level of responsibility for your actions and everything that you do, think, say, all of that shit. And all of that stuff has a value. You know? Like even in your thoughts, just thinking, man, I should smack the shit out of this bitch. You shouldn't think, you know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to control. It, like you got to learn how to control and balance you know okay so let's get over to the love situation let's see what we say I feel I want to say it's like you're such a good person I feel like you just need to be more gentler you need to be more gentle and treat people how you want people to treat you I don't know why I feel like I got to say that. And again, I feel like a, a lot of things could be cleared up with just the conversation. I don't know. Look, a lot of things could just be cleared up with a conversation like on God. Like for real, for real. Because a lot of the blockages and delays, I feel like it has something to do with something that could easily be cleared up with a conversation. But with that high priestess, it's like you know that. It's like you're not stupid. Okay, let's see what we got here in the love. You got manifestation. All right. I like that. And again, it's like still being in a state of oneness, being in a state of being alone, going within, having like a divine level of understanding of just your purpose right now and why things have been going the way that it is and I can have anything I want I have to be completely balanced and if I don't if, if I can't enjoy my dance of life just on my own can't nobody else bring it to me you know what I'm saying so right now I have to just like focus in, it's like focusing on 
feeling good within yourself and everything outside of you is just coming together in just one big blossomy flower. Everything is just growing, 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 growing and everything in your life has a divine purpose and you're manifesting so many beautiful things in your life and it's because you are becoming a better person on the inside. You are changing your values, your frequency, the way that you are loving yourself, the way that you are moving, the way that you love people around you. It's changing your environment. I feel like you are just in a more loving state, a more calmer state. And I like how that infinity sign is right there. It's telling me that the more and more you grow and you start to love yourself right here with the solar plexus and this um what is it oh goodness the solar plexus and the ooh what's the orange one i can't even think of it them two uh chakras it feeds and it generates this center like one of them it balances like what you want to do what you think the other one balances like some level of like creativity and all of this stuff like that and then it goes down here to the root you being grounded all of that stuff goes up here and it feeds to your heart all all of this stuff matters excuse me Excuse me, oh no, I got... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Let's see, this says... Life is a cycle of changing seasons. Let us welcome each new season and surrender the past with grace. Let us remember that nothing is ever lost, for all exists eternally within our heart. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Again, it's like... You guys might be broken up from somebody. I don't think that it's necessarily... Excuse me. I don't think it's something that you should necessarily even be focusing too much of your energy on anymore. Right now, what these cards are telling me is that there's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of love that is, you know, it's coming from the core. And again, it says, Amber was used as a protective talisman, dating back to the ancient times, technically compromised in tree resin that has been fossilized. Amber is used for grounding higher energies back to the earth. When rubbed, it could become electrically charged, dispelling negative energies and igniting desire. <clears throat> you guys, I'm so sorry. Let me hurry up because my throat is like, ugh. I like the fact that I feel like it's like you're not giving up when we come to right here. Over here, I definitely feel like it's a delicate conversation because it has to do with a lot of ego. Because you could easily just have let go and you could have walked away and things because you have this knowledge. But it's like someone struggles with the gift in the, and it's like someone is struggling with that. And it's like knowing better but doing the right things. You know what I'm saying? When you know better. And again with this saying. Express your love. Through your deeds. Express your love through your deeds. Always do things with love. And that's just on period. I don't know why I feel like. Some, I don't know why I feel like someone. It got put in time out for some reason. Like anything that is not. Loving. And that will bring good energy to you. Don't do it. Like, that's basically what I'm getting. 
don't know if this is from a young that's watching this or something like that. Because this could even be uh, uh, this could even be knowledge from the high priestess. It's telling you why. It's like you come into me as if you don't know. Like the answers is already within you. Like I can't. Well, she could tell you the secrets because she already knows. But she she knows that you know. You know why these are, these delays are coming. So you got the chariot and then you got the temperance. I already yeah again and again the temperance is about. Eternal balance, faith. The chariot is about direction, movement. So, especially in love here, it seems like you're at a place right now where you're being left alone to cherish this time that you get to be single and be by yourself to manifest and develop and change your life into whatever the hell you want to be. Whatever that shit was in the past, let that shit alone. Be at peace with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't let nothing knock you off your balance with the chariot. This is someone that is confident. This is someone that is strong. This is someone that is determined. Like your determination is like unwilling. You got this the the temperance. So that's basically telling me that someone that I feel like you know what's coming to you. It's like already written. I don't know if this is someone that is like. I don't know if you feel like you are like you're meant to be famous or you're meant to be known or it's just a better something better. It's just like you have a deep, strong connection with like faith and you know with God, the universe, and just like everything. But it's just like. You might have lost your way. And it's like you're coming back into balance now. Everything is moving in a good direction. Just don't ever give up your faith. Be patient. And just be willing to change. You know. As long as you know that the, the direction that you want to go. Whatever it is that your spirit is telling you to. It, it's going to take you, take you. Continue your movement. And continue with your head up. And again, like it says, life is like, life is a cycle of changing seasons. Let us welcome each new season. So again, this is like you are moving into something. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're moving, if you're about to get a new car or it's like rolling into a destination or something where you have a little bit more freedom. You can... Like your vision is changed. Your vision is different. It's like your outlook on something. It's like self-mastery. Self-mastery. And it's like I can move ahead and be allowed to play and do what I want to. And do it with a little bit more. Um, I don't know. It's like more, again, pride, dignity, and confidence within myself. It's like I don't attract the things that I used to attract anymore because I'm not attracted to that anymore. Like that cycle of my life is done. It's it because it, because over here it's like I understand something. I understand, and I'm going with inside myself to develop this vision. So I'm seeing it within myself, so I can see it outside of my world. Because I know as long as I have faith and I continue moving the way I'm supposed to move, it'll come to me. And again, it's like, with this temperance card, it's like how this man is showing up on this boat, like, ready to take you on a ride. It's like, and this is like a, something where you can relax and this person is, like, steering away. And it's, you, you get a chance to enjoy the scenery and just be pampered and to be taken care of and just to relax and you're just like self-aware and you're just like proud of yourself it's something about being proud and being able to allow your faith to guide you you know do you get me because when you visualize it outside things just when you visualize it inside Things just start to show up on the outside like magic. It all has to do with faith. And it has to do with letting go and allowing new things to come into your life. And again, I said that with the writer. Let's see what the writer says. And then I'm getting up out of here real quick. The writer says, 
news, change, movement, messages, discovery, a visitor, opportunity. The writer brings positive news and change. Through the writer, though the writer looks back, she trusts that her horse to carry her eagerly forward towards her destiny, perhaps to places she has always dreamed of. When this dynamic card appears, it means the writer is ready for anything. Her turned up collar suggests she is geared up for whatever challenges come her way. Her horse takes her up and over obstacles to her success. She may also be the carrier of an important message, information, or, annou or amount, uh, announcement from afar. This is a person or an event that has been eagerly awaiting for and will arrive soon. I told y'all that earlier. I told y'all that earlier. And again, it's like, that's what I kind of got there too. Because if you look at this, it's like, this person is being carried and they get to chill, lay back and turn around and watch the scenery. The same thing here being carried so let go stop allowing certain things to block your way continue to go inside continue to manifest continue to make your life what you want it to be don't be your own worst enemy that's the only thing I can say cause it's like again with this with this here You don't have to be in seclusion or none of that stuff like that. It's about taking responsibility, and that's all I want to say. You know what I'm saying? You can't be your chariot wanting to go one side and want to go this side. You know, you, you have to be single-mindedness. You have to have direction, you know? All right. So I love you guys. Peace.